Hey guys, Courier Girl here. So today, 4.30 in the morning, I'm driving down the highway and you know those highway signs that kind of tell you about traffic or whatever? Well, the highway sign says, highway closed at Harrison Avenue. And I'm like, crap, that's exactly where I'm going. Like that's the exit that I have to get off at. So what am I gonna do? Highway's closed and fortunately I know a way around. So it didn't take me any longer to get to where I was going, but I checked GPS just to see what it suggested and it wasn't even showing up that there was a problem on GPS. Like it was just directing me down my normal way. So what happened was there was a really big, pretty serious accident and the emergency crews were there, but the GPS had not updated. And I notice this sometimes with GPS. It doesn't quite catch up with the traffic. And I mean, I love using GPS. It does a great job. And it's amazing to me how well they've mapped out our entire country and probably the entire world. But sometimes it kind of fails a little bit when something new happens. There's also a place that I go that the road has been obviously closed and torn up for years. And it still tries to send you that way. So sometimes it gives you bad directions. So it's always good to know alternate routes. And especially if you are on, if you're really familiar with your area or if you're on a route that you do every day, you're gonna find shortcuts. You know, GPS is never gonna tell you to cut through a parking lot. Sometimes that can save a lot of time. GPS will probably direct you to the front door of a building. Sometimes you gotta go to the back door. Like there's this one building that I go to that if I followed the directions, it wouldn't take me to the right place. I have to turn two streets before and go down a side street to the back dock. That's where I go. But your directions, your GPS isn't going to tell you that. It's going to take you to the main entrance or the front door. So as you're doing a route or even as you're doing on demand and being in more familiar areas, it really pays to know all of those little secrets and shortcuts and ways that you can get around things. Another thing is one time I was doing a route and this one traffic light was just terrible. It was just so long. It seemed like you were sitting there for 10 minutes, probably not, but that's what it seemed like. And so I found out that because I had to turn left at that light, you had to wait for the arrow and all that kind of stuff. So I found out if I went through the light straight and turned left at the next light, which was much quicker and easier to turn at, I could go through the parking lot of like a strip mall and I could come out on the road I needed to be on and I could do it much faster while all those people were still waiting to turn left at the other light. I could already be on my way. So those were things that I figured out and I remember one route that I was doing, once I figured that out, I went from getting done at three o'clock to getting done at two o'clock, like a whole hour difference because of those little things. The other thing that I learned is that I could switch certain stops. Now, some companies don't like that or don't allow that, but if you have the autonomy to do that, then that makes sense. For instance, there's one stop that I go to that's like number number two or number three on the route but if I do it and I don't know why they've got it set up this way because if I do it after number seven it's like right next door to number seven so why would I go all the way over here and then all these other places and then come back to this other one and then drive right by where I could have gone and it doesn't really matter because these are lock boxes and I'm getting them after they're closed so it's really only the difference of maybe a half an hour at the time that I get there and I asked the company why they have it that way. And they're just like, we don't know, but just do it in the right order for you. It doesn't really matter. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking about today as the highways closed. And um, I don't think anybody died, fortunately, but it was some pretty serious injuries. A car ran up under a semi truck and they had to close the highway for it. So I was really, really glad that I knew different ways to get to where I was going and I wasn't late. In fact, I ended up being early to my second stop, which was interesting to me um, because I thought I was going to be late. And also just to not rely always on GPS because it doesn't always know what it's doing, you know? All right, that's it for now. I've got more pickups to do and then more deliveries. So 
as always, I will see you on the road.